Okay, welcome to this video, this polarizing video that's going to be coming out, but um, I have no persuasion either way. It's just interesting, an interesting time that we're living in, and uh, I'm going to be drawing some, a picture that I did. I did a video quite a while ago, I drew the same picture, but... This video is going to be better. It's going to be, we're going to be drawing this to the best of my ability. And I'm going to be talking about some really weird shit. So, this, uh, We're living in a weird time right now, and it's going to this election either way. It's very, um, very scary, worrying time. Like in all my videos, I think the eyes are the hardest part to get right. cars going around, always. So, uh, before I get distracted, um, I'm trying to draw and talk about this at the same time, but there was this book that was written by a man in the late 19th century, I think 18, 18, where is it? see when it was made. It was written and it was, there's a whole bunch of books like on this thing. See, he looks kind of, he looks very similar to Trump, um, Baron Trump. I'm going to get this bloody thing to work by Ingersoll Lockwood by this guy. The Baron Trump Collection Travels and Adventures of Little Baron Trump and His Wonderful Dog Bulger. Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. The Last President. It's the weirdest shit that I've ever seen. Um, I'm not going to go in. I haven't read this book, but it talks about this kid who can travel through time uh, with his dog. <clears throat> the fact that we're talking about, you know, like, the, the, oh, I'm, I'm talking from the, the news perspective here, the fear-mongering perspective. It doesn't matter what political leaning you have. Um, it's just good to know that the news is always trying to be a fear-mongering place. And uh, it's always sensationalizing things. Try and draw this pretty quickly because spent a lot of time on on the eyes. Got to 
was dressed in this kind of big, I don't know what you'd call it, big garb. Maybe he doesn't look so much like this now, but it looks more like when he was a barren trunk, a kid. Carries his uh, dog around with him. Uh, I don't know what this is. So uh, I will try and get a summary for you. The novels recount the adventures of the German boy Wilhelm Heinrich Sebastian von Trump who goes by a Baron Trump as he discovers weird underground civilizations. Offends the natives and flees from his entanglements with local women and repeats his, this pattern until arriving back home at Castle Trump. They were children's novels. doing this very sloppily. As I was saying, we live in a very weird, scary time where there's wars going on, needless wars, and uh, things aren't looking great. travels, he must have some kind of device that sends him through time. Like, maybe he met up with uh, Tesla or something. I was actually going to make a cartoon series of, of this story and just like a comedy kind of thing. I uh, never got around to it. It's because I procrastinate so much. And just when you, when you just think about how, how long it's going to take to do animations and stuff, it just puts you off. I've only started learning uh, um, Unreal. I've put it off 
so many times. It's just very daunting. But once you start using it, it's, um, it's that hurdle of getting over that thing. So I think um, what he does is somehow they, him and his dog, he has this kind of time machine thing that allows him to travel through time to change history. summary of it. They remained obscure until 2017 when they received media attention for perceived similarities between their protagonist and the US president. So they were, they were books that were largely forgotten about in time. But I'm just trying to get a like inspired by Alice in Wonderland. Can only imagine what kind of wacky adventures get up to. This is just traveling through a vortex. Shit. I think that's what it is. Oh, it's crap. Whatever. I kind of had the idea that, you know, traveling through that. Simpsons episode when Homer goes back through time to the dinosaurs with the, the toaster. Be funny. Quiet you. If, uh, if you've heard about this book, because it is kind of fascinating that we, that he could predict something like this. It's of the novels led to some groups claiming that it suggested that Donald and or Baron Trump had engaged in time travel. This was often accompanied by with claims that John G. Trump, a scientist and uncle of Donald, had created a time machine alongside Nikola Tesla. And now we've got, we've got Donald Trump mixing with Elon Musk very bizarre. 
whether you like it or not. Like I'm, as in this, someone living in Australia, it's, um, I don't know, the past four years haven't been that great. So a lot of people are hoping that Trump can fix the economy. I'm not sure if he can or whatever, but I just wish there were no wars going on around the world after we had just all overcome the horrible outbreak of a disease. Um, we're living in a very dangerous time. I just wish that politics wasn't so... So in the front of everything. It's a scary world we live in, nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of a revisit of a former video I did. But as you can see, it's the story of this boy and his dog. going on mysterious adventures through time, meeting historical figures, oh, and the, the villain was going to be Biden, of course. I really hate that guy. Such a demonic monster of a person. Let's keep going. Draw a bit more. It just seems like we've, um, I'm just trying to get a picture of him being angry. spirits chasing him through time. Uh, yeah, I just hope, I hope you guys don't think I'm one side or the other. I just don't care. Well, I do care, but, you know, 
just want the best for everyone. Uh, I just try and draw things that I find funny. And, uh, it's a pretty cool idea for a, a cartoon. All the adventures you could have traveling through time. Trying to avert assassinations. You could go through time and meet like Thomas Matthew Crook's grandparents and what it was. I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, it's all going to be over soon, so we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you'd like to see this as a cartoon, let us know. It might happen. Thanks for watching.